I'm John Bradbury and welcome to John's Melted Adventures Searching for history And we're on some new fields with footpaths yet again Let's just see what comes out of this field Thirty-four in there, what is it? Thirty-four, all round. Thirty-four coming up. What is thirty-four? That is the ultimate question. Here we go. Oh, it's definitely a coin then. Oh, it's not. Oh, now then, what's that? Oh, that's interesting. That's really lovely, that. I'll have to clean it up gently. 54 and that's a coin weight. Now I don't know how old that is, probably early 20th century. 52 in there. Ah, we think we've got silver. Oh yes, we've got silver. Who is it then? It's Georgia fifth sixpence. Ah yes, we've got a silver. I've had so many coins off this field and I'm just thinking there's got to be silver in this field because there's so many different Coins and artifacts been I've only been here four hours and loads and loads of coins and I thought it's gotta be silver, gotta be silver, and we got one. We got a sixpence 1922 George V Reins loop fastener which goes the reins go through there on the horse that mounts on the horse bridle for a uh, load of reins to go through maybe more than one horse. That was uh, 79. Big. Look out there. 42. A little spindle whirl. Not quite sure of the age, but it could be medieval. Little spindle whirl. Oh, that's a fancy one. Uh, make another reins holder. Quite fancy that. Mount for a reins holder. Right fancy. Oh yes. More silver bites the dust. Hey George the fifth shilling this time, 1921. I know it's silver because it's it, it says on the back you can see the silver silver side there. It'd be black on the other side, but it, that is silver. And that is George the fifth, 1921. Seen the date. Shilling! <laughs> it's brilliant. That's that's silver coming out now. Look at that! Big silver. Look at that, boys and girls. Ooh, what's that then? I don't know that silver bites the dust, but this is a big one. It's a big one. Ha <laughs> ha, Flory of George the Fifth. Look at the size of that one. Awesome, awesome. Probably 1920, something like that, from what I can think. I can think. It's obviously cleaning up. It's a bit black. <laughs> And it's the count up, and boy, oh boy, have I got a count up today. Awesome field, absolutely unbelievable. I can tell nobody's been on this field. That Manticore, boy, oh boy, what a cracking machine. So I think there's plenty more in this field. I shall be returning. The bad news, that the, the ground is dry, so the machine doesn't go down as deep as it, we'd like it. So. Uh, we, we're still missing depth, so there's got to be a lot more deeper. And of course, I've ordered me large coil for the machine for later reference. So at the moment, I've just standard coil. And this is just mind boggling. Four and a half hours, I've pulled out this out of this field. So we're talking, uh, I think this is a horse range of some kind, strange one. Another horse reins where they actually uh, have two horses abreast and they have the the horse reins through them. It's a mounting, horse main, main mounting. Got large animal buckle. Another animal buckle there. Small standard buckle there. Uh, and, and honest guys, I don't know what this is, but this is weird. Look at this. This is a piece of lead in the shape of something. I'm not sure. Anybody, anybody got any ideas about that one? Don't have a clue. But it seems to be like a like a giant pipe <laughs> uh, with ribs on in lead. So I don't know what that is. 
Then we've got another buckle. And then I think that's a dog tag. And buttons, 18th, 17th century buttons. I think that's a, a quarter of an ounce weight, brass weight, probably uh, late Victorian, early 20th century. So it's not that old, but still significant, I suppose. Then we've got his key. And then look at this. And then when you think we're done, spindle whirl, two of them. Tiny little spindle whirls. Could be medieval. Could be medieval, not sure. Hey, look, I've got a badge there. I don't even know where it is. It's got writing and designs on it. Needs cleaning up the coins. So we, we've got a range from 18th century, George V, right up to the present time with Queen Victoria. Little silver button there. And then we've got a 1922 sixpence of George V. George V. Sixpence. Look at that. That's the first silver I got out. And then I got a shilling of George V. He's cleaning up. Shilling of George V. 1922. 1922. And then when I thought it were all done. No. Look, guys. Florin of George V. What a beautiful coin. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely superb. Wants cleaning, of course. Brilliant range of historical artifacts I found today. I can safely say I've enjoyed myself. That was an awesome day, guys. Absolutely superb. That's how we'd like to have it all the time, but they're not always up. Now, what I didn't tell you, I found junk, but I don't mind. Took the junk out. Tins, uh, ring pools, and other lead. Loads of lead and bits and bats. So I had a lot of rubbish too and trash. So I'm not bothered. But all that came out. Kept me busy. Keeps you fit. So that was an excellent day. I'll be coming back to this field to another stage. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, subscribe if you can, please. And we'll catch you on the next adventure. This is going to be exciting.